Hello everyone, this is Adam Raptor, and today I'll be giving you some facts on a dinosaur that has recently become somewhat controversial, the Spinosaurus. But before I begin, I would like to let you know that I will be leaving a list of all of my sources in the description below for all of my informational videos from now on. So now on to the actual video. To begin, there is only one confirmed species of Spinosaurus, which would be Spinosaurus aegypticus. They are also the namesake for the Spinosaurid family of dinosaurs, which are also a part of the clad Megalosauria. Spinosaurus lived in North Africa during the Albion and Cenomanian stages of the Cretaceous period, or from approximately 112 to 93.5 million years ago. But to be more specific, the remains have been found in Egypt and Morocco. However, unlike today, North Africa was not covered by a vast desert at this time in our planet's history. Instead, this area likely had coastal swamps and an interior environment similar to that of the modern-day African savanna, just without any grass, since grass would not appear until about 20 million years ago. Spinosaurus shared this habitat with a variety of different animals, some of which were dinosaurs, such as Carcharodontosaurus and Paralotitan, while many other animals were of the aquatic and semi-aquatic variety, which included giant fish like the 8 meter long giant sawfish, Oncopristes. Based on the 2014 reconstruction, it is now thought that Spinosaurus was a large predatory dinosaur that grew to a length of about 15 meters, or about 50 feet, and weighed about 4 metric tons, or about 4.4 short tons. However, the height of the animal is still up for debate, and I will explain why this is later on. Contrary to popular belief, Spinosaurus was not primarily a land predator. Instead, they are classified as being piscivores, meaning that they primarily hunted fish. We know this because the animal's teeth are straight and conical in shape, and lack any serrations, meaning that their teeth were not that great for tearing flesh and were instead used to hold slippery prey in its jaws, much like the teeth of a modern crocodile. And just like crocodiles, there is also evidence that Spinosaurus might have also had specialized pressure receptors on the tip of their elongated crocodile-like snout, which would have been vital for detecting any fish that may be below the water's surface. There is also some research that was done in the year 2010 on the oxygen isotopes of the teeth of Spinosaurus, and they indicated that these animals had a semi-aquatic lifestyle that was somewhere in between an amphibious lifestyle, like that of a crocodile, and a fully terrestrial lifestyle. However, it might have been possible for Spinosaurus to have been able to hunt on land during times of drought. These animals also had tall neural spines on its back, which were likely connected by soft tissues and blood vessels covered by a layer of skin that altogether formed a 6 foot or 2 meter tall sail like structure running down its spine. However, it is unknown what this sail was used for, but there are some suggestions which include being used for the regulation of body temperature, 
being a display feature and possibly to also keep the Spinosaurus from leaning on its side while swimming in deeper water. Spinosaurus was first discovered in the year 1912 and later described in the year 1915 by the German paleontologist Ernst Strummer, who had depicted the Spinosaurus as a large megalosaurus with a sail on its back and dragging its tail along the ground. Unfortunately, the uh, first and only specimen of Spinosaurus at the time was destroyed in an Allied bombing during World War II. Then, in the 1990s, the look for Spinosaurus changed when the posture of Spinosaurus was updated to that of a more bird-like and more horizontal posture rather than a tail-dragging lizard posture. The skull of Spinosaurus was also updated during this time to look more like that of a crocodile skull. This design remained scientifically accurate for much of the early 2000s and only slightly changed up until the year 2014. And I am also including the look that was featured in the documentary series Planet Dinosaur by the BBC from the year 2013. Then late in the year 2014, a new look for Spinosaurus was announced to the public by the National Geographic, which was based on a then recently discovered Spinosaurus specimen. This redesign changed the shape of the sail from a semicircular shape to a more trapezoidal shape. The size of its legs were also changed from being long and slender to being short and stubby, as well as having webbed feet. And because of its short legs, it would have been forced to walk on its knuckles. However, this reconstruction of Spinosaurus almost immediately faced harsh criticism from people one of which was paleontologist and paleoartist Scott Hartman, who said that the size of the hips are disproportionate to the overall size of the animal, and, quote, In fact, it needs to be increased about 27% to match the published length, and it's not just the ilum that is wrong. The rest of the pelvis and the entire hind limb is off, and they are off by about the same amount, suggesting it's the reconstruction and not the measurements that are in error. End quote. Other researchers also pointed out that the anatomy of predatory dinosaur wrists and shoulders make it difficult, if not impossible, for the wrists to withstand the animal's weight. Therefore, Spinosaurus was definitely a biped and not a quadruped, and probably would have looked something more like this instead. Now just to recap on what I talked about in this video, the Spinosaurus was a bizarre sail-backed semi-aquatic fish-eating predatory dinosaur from Cretaceous, North Africa. I would also like to thank my friend Pete for helping me find some of the information for my video. So if you are new to watching my channel, then please subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!